Well, Ethan Allen, we are watching those shares year to date as furniture companies are facing setbacks with supply chain constraints hitting sales. Those shares down some 21%. Rising inflation, of course, has also caused customers to press pause on spending in some cases. Ethan Allen, Chairman, CEO, and President Farooq Kathwari joins us now to discuss, and he is at the New York Stock Exchange, where I believe you rang the bell celebrating, what, 90 years um, of Ethan Allen, Farouk. So congratulations on that. Um, you, in your latest uh, business update, which I believe was from late April, talked about slowing demand. Where are we now? How has that progressed or uh, deteriorated since that point in time? Well, good to, uh, good to be on the program. Yes, we today uh, participated in the opening bell of the New York Stock Exchange, celebrating 90 years of innovation. Uh, you know, in last um, uh, time we g gave information was re relative to our third quarter which ended March 31st. And you know, we had a great, great quarter. We had 12% increase in sales, 60% increase in earnings, and a strong backlog. But we said that the great, tremendous amount of focus on the home in the last two years, it was just um, unbelievable. We said that most probably is not going to last, which I think is, is natural. It, there's this major, major focus on the home do the time when everybody on COVID stayed home is, uh, is, is a diminishing, as we mentioned. But we are positioned well. You talked about the supply chain. One of the things we are very unique is that we have maintained 75% of our manufacturing right in North America. So we have done extremely uh, well compared to our peers who are, most of their products comes from overseas. So I think from a supply, perspective. We are very well positioned. Uh, we are uh, going to continue to service our clients. Now, as far as the demand is concerned, yes. As I had mentioned after our third quarter that we do expect it to slow down, which is, which is normal. So, but having said this, uh, we are well positioned with our, you know, we are a vertically integrated company. We have uh, over about 1,500 interior designers that provide service today with technology and, and personal service is the key. So I think we'll continue to make progress. Farouk, is that demand diminishing in line with where your targets currently are or is it at a faster rate? Well, the demand is, you know, I mean, this was a very tremendously unusual uh, two years. But when you take a look at the demand relative to the base year of, let us say, 2019, I think from that period it is increasing. But uh, when you compare it to a year back, yes, it is decreasing based on the fact that it was just extremely high. Farooq, uh, we mentioned the, that you're marking the anniversary of the company. I should mention, you're pro you've got to be one of the longest tenured CEOs on Wall Street. Um, I believe that you've been leading the company since 1988, if I'm not mistaken. So put this in a longer perspective for us as well, since you have been through multiple business cycles in the furniture business. How do you think this one is going to compare? Yes, you're right. You know, I've had the opportunity of, uh, you know, serving for uh, CEO for over 36 years. And even that before that I was president. So I have seen a number of uh, recessions. I've seen, uh, I, I would think that this is nothing, not unusual. I think that when uh, we, when there is this extreme increase in demand, it is followed by things coming down. So that's what we're going to see. But I don't see us having a recession or a depression, but I think it's going to be a slowdown, which those of us who are better positioned will do relatively better than others. As retailers are trying to get a better handle on inventories that they hold and, and what they currently have and are trying to move through right now, have you noticed any kind of deterioration in or declining in the number of orders that your company has written for some of those wholesalers? Well, you know, again, I mentioned that 75% of our products are made in North America and 75% of our products are made custom. So which is very unusual for our industry or for retail. Most folks really have to buy a lot of inventory, especially if they are buying it offshore. We don't. So 75% of our products are made when we receive an order. 
So we have had to build inventory, let us say, in lumber and parts and like that, but nothing unusual. Farooq Kathwari, who is the Ethan Allen Chairman and CEO and President, joining us this morning live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate it.